What's up guys, Tom Mundy here, uh, got another storyline gameplay of the Imperial Agent, this time on the planet Belsavis. The main point of the story here is where you, uh, you go here to learn about a conspiracy, and to do so you end up having to take down the entire planet's security systems. In the mean, in the in, in doing so, you get a new companion, which is a droid that runs the whole security systems there, and then you get access to that droid's data banks. That droid becomes your companion, and you can see all that now. You break out four prisoners because Belsavis is a prison planet. They help you. You got to get all these uh, items for a really well put together plan to break in to the uh, like security place, which is you know only accessible by droids and massive doors you, you gotta break through and all sorts of stuff like that. Turbo lift activated. And we've got some dialogue coming up here now so you can see the prisoners and the first part of the storyline here so here we go. Here we go. Well, look who's alive after all. This here's quite a place. I got us to the turbo lift. Hey, They've got spikes. Adrenals, blaster packs. This is good. I'm going to get my cortical data split working again. Do I have your attention? We're not here to play around. Kanjin, get out the equipment list. Of course. We're all just letting off steam. Scorpio sanctions activated. I appreciate all of you gathering in one place. Your deaths will be artfully intertwined. You must have tripped an alarm. I, I didn't do anything. We'll be all right. Weapons ready. Keep your eyes open. These laboratories were designed for experiments in alien aggression. I have full access to the research and chemicals used. What is this? The SLV-88 aerosol was formulated to control the minds and heighten the aggressive instincts of anyone exposed. Enjoy this experience for the brief time it lasts. I've wanted to do this a long time, Agent. So that gas making everyone turn on each other, except for me, I can like resist it. So I don't kill them here, they just sort of go to low health, because that would be stupid if I killed them, that would kind of ruin the storyline and I wouldn't be able to continue in my storyline. Uh, that droid there talking is the droid that's in, in the main building, like towards the end of the storyline that you go and get and that becomes your companion. And an so while the fight's going on here, yeah, um, I just want a bit of feedback uh, about my audio. Is it too loud or too quiet? I can't tell. I I set it so that it's perfect uh, for me, so that it's perfectly hearable uh, with my headset on full volume. Um, I don't know what it's like for people using speakers. Please leave a comment. I have boosted the audio a bit this video, just in case, because I think it surely is a bit quiet for some people. Um, so... Yeah, tell me, you know, does it need boosting or because, you know, I can't tell. I use a headset, not speakers, so it's a bit harder to tell what's loud and what's quiet. I've just said it so it's perfect for my headset. So if you could get to me on that, that would be great. Um, the way this video is set out as well is it's just mostly the dialogue. I mean, you don't want to see me having to go off, like, on little quests to get, like, you know, break into somewhere and just collect an item and then get out. Because to be honest with you, the video would be about six hours long, and it's completely boring. You'll see what I mean. You know, I just have to go out, like kill three droids, loot something off them, and bring it back. You know, you don't want to see that. You just want to see the story, and I'll fill you in on what I had to do. Well, the dialogue will tell you what I had to do, and you'll see at the end. Really, it's all about collecting items that I need to break into the security place, like um, to get in. Obviously, like I said earlier, it's droid access only. So, to get past the scanners, to actually get in, like, I need to freeze myself. And then the, the like, slicer in out of these four prisoners, like, activates a lift which takes me up in. And then the scanners can't detect me because I'm, like, frozen solid. It's that sort of stuff. It's just a massive build-up to that end bit. 
and this video is mostly dialogue, so it's a lot of story, and I know you guys like the story sort of stuff. And, oh, just a heads up, someone does cough in a, in soon in one of the dialogue bits. Yeah, I was on Mumble, I was on a VoIP server, and someone coughed. I forgot to mute it. I muted it straight away, so there won't be any other interferences. But what the hell is it with coughing? It's always a cough. No one ever speaks. It's always someone coughing. It's been in this. This is the third time it's happened. It happened in my first and second video. The same guy coughed. This time it was a different guy, and the cough wasn't so loud, and it wasn't as bad quality because the first two were on Skype. This one's on Mumble, so the quality's a lot better. And I did lower the audio as well, so it won't deafen you. But um, it's a bit annoying. You do it does interrupt the audio, but the cough's only like a second long. So, back to the dialogue now. You are immune to mind control technologies, yet those defenses should be unavailable to the wider galaxy. Interesting. We will continue this discussion later. Back to normal. Ah, oh, so what? I don't have anything to say sorry for. Think we're all in one piece. <laughs> there it is. We're not even in the mega security ward yet. Anyone thinking of turning back needs to decide. What do you want to face? Me right now, or some half-baked security system? No one talking about turning back, boss. I'll... I can slice the computers, see if I can get an equipment inventory. See? It's all good. Yes, yes, no. It's almost all here. The stupid equipment isn't listed. But there's some pieces that aren't stored in the lab. I can pinpoint the locations. We're moving out. We've got a f All due respect, we ain't fit. My hand shaking from that gas. Don't think I could slaughter a bantha cub. What are we missing, Cheney? Carbonite trap. It's in the armory. Need that to freeze yourself. Hide your life signs from the mega security ward scanners. Only way to get in. Spent uranium power battery. Hazardous waste containment. Radiation will weaken the door seals. Old black sun trick. Anti-radiation serum. Water filters. Help you survive that power battery. Still, if that's all it's missing, we can count ourselves lucky. Me and the others can pack up. Start creeping to the next security zone. Assuming you can recover those three pieces. Carbonite bomb from the armory, battery from hazard containment, serum from the water filters. You finish up here and I'll find them. You got it. So I've just got one of the items and going back into the dialogue. Hey, boss, it's us. We got everything from the lab. Park has found us a safe place where we can figure out our next step. Sending coordinates. Meet you there. How many warden droids are still out there? I told you already. Tell me again. Give me the knife. I want to try. What's going on? Caught ourselves a guard. Thought we'd have a little fun. You should have waited for me. I've got a grudge or two against the guards myself. I don't even know you! Please! Ah! Nice. <laughs> nice. You got a bit of a temper. Think he's given all we're getting, though. Want me to clean up? Make it quick. We should get back to work. Please! You work on Belsavis. You should know what's coming. Take a look. This is the junk we got from the laboratory. Parkos has been putting things together. The physical defenses aren't enough. We need to deal with that computer. The Scorpio sanctions. That thing has caused enough trouble. I think the sanctions are a program running in the mega security ward that accesses the rest of the prison. It controls the force fields, scanners, all that. Your equipment will only do half the job if the program's still running. My brother didn't have a slicer when he got himself killed. She might be right. 
I'm really good, but I can't disable the program. We need to distract it. A thermal detonator in the computer core should do the trick. You're not listening. I think the core is in the ward. I can take control of the upper level security droids, override their programming. Then, when we get to the mega security ward, bang. I make the droids set off every alarm in the prison. The Scorpio program gets confused. Gives us a few minutes. At least. Clever little bird. You and the guys could upload my overrides into the droids while Parkos and I work. Then we can go in. Get your gear together. We're going droid hunting. Get close to each droid and use these computer spikes. They'll stop shooting after, not before. When we've got enough set up, I'll give you a call. So now I gotta go to get these droids to spike them so that later on she can use them to set an alarm off, which will confuse the droid. It's Cheney. Got a signal from the droids. My override's working, but, uh. There's an auto maintenance facility. As soon as the droids report in to charge and repair, my overrides will be wiped. Place needs trashing. Send me coordinates. The defenses are pretty thick. Facility might. I accidentally skipped the audio there. Don't worry, I only have to go to a base and destroy it. That's all she says. And yeah, this is going to allow her to set an alarm off, which will confuse the security droid later on so I can break in at the end. Like a child mutilating a doll, you have triumphed over primitive technology. But you cannot conceive of the weapons I possess. Things your kind was not permitted to see. Your threats are getting old. Let's settle this. Not yet. But everything is on schedule. When you destroyed the core machine, you unleashed my microdroid swarm. Automata like gnats that can drill through flesh. They will infect your associate, and by the time you reach Mega Security War 23, you will stand alone. What do you think? Nah. Pulse bomb won't do anything against that wall. Leaves us back where we started. Got control of the droids. They'll set off every alarm on Belsatis, and the Scorpio program won't know where to look. Rest of us were working out the plan for the break in. Ready as we're gonna be. But there is one thing. If something's gone wrong, you need to fix it. Not something we can fix. A while back, you made some threats. Said we owed you for breaking us out. You're plenty nasty. But some of us are wondering where this goes. Jobs. You come out of Bell Savis ready to take on the whole galaxy. You get cash. You get freedom. Yeah, alright. Now can we get back to work? What's our next step? Mega Security War 23 is in the deep prison. Old underground complex. Say the infrastructure was here way before the Republic. Imperials got the deep prison guarded. So you want to get inside? You find your own way through. I've dealt with their kind before. Don't worry about the Empire's blockade. Once you get to the Mega Security Ward, we'll finish up our tasks and meet up. Walk you through on the comms. I'm on computers. Parkos is finalizing the map. Kanjin's turning off Republic monitors. I have weapons and explosives prepared for you. Equipment's all set. Handle it careful. Call us when you're at the front door. Break in of the sentry. If this plan fails, you'll never leave Belsavis. I've got people who'll see to it. I'd like to meet them. We have a good plan. Don't you mess up either. She means well. Whatever is in that place, we're gonna know real soon. There we go. And we are at the place now. This is a long part of the story this was. Um... I frapped most of it, but I've cut it down a lot. Like, look at this area with all the lava and all the whatever that is. That's not ice. That's some weird, like, sort of stone. It's a proper, proper tough place. 
and we go in here and the first step is to freeze myself to get past the scanners on the elevator so I'm about to do that now I'm at the entrance to Mega Security Ward 23 status report like we're ready here you should be in a turbo lift meant for droids only scanners pick up active black signs turbo lift shuts down you need to use that carbonite trap we picked up. Freeze yourself solid, put yourself into hibernation. Cheney will trigger the lift controls. Only way in. I'll check in with you once I'm inside. There you go, we're in. Born from a carbonite wound, you enter my world. Welcome to Mega Security Ward 23. Let's get going here then. Next step is to get past the doors. There's a door here. Heavy duty metal. Can't tell the composition. Hey, boss. Harko spotted it. Blocks his ultraviolet sight. Here's where the Meranium power battery comes in. Take her out of the protective case and attach her to the door. She'll pump out enough radiation to fatigue the metal and you can blast on through. That serum I found, it'll counter the radiation's effect. It should. Take it when you start feeling woozy, but try to keep your distance in the meantime. The next step after the door is to get past the shields, which is coming up right after the door. And that's the door down. And use the shields. Field up ahead. It's hooked into the security program. Now all that work with the droids pays off. I'm going to trigger every alarm in Bell Savis, and the Scorpio system's going to go crazy. I hope. Hold on, Cheney, darling. Seems to me now's a very good time to renegotiate our deal. Turn on me, Kanjin, and those years in a cell will seem like paradise. Say the word and the slicer dies. What? Why me? Nothing personal. You just make a good bargaining chip. Now, I don't want you dead, but you make a lot of threats and Oda and I have to look out for our interests. I want you to authorize a credit transfer. Pay us enough, we'll leave Bell Sabbath and you can finish your little break in. Listen, you can't buy your way out of here. And like me or not, you need me. Now put the gun down and try to remember that. <laughs> you really are something. All right. You can't blame me for trying. Cheney. Triggering the alarms. Thank you. Oh, I can hear a thousand electron screams. What have you done? Oh! There we go. Tried to betray me, he got owned. So here we go, now there's a lot of dialogue coming up. A lot. But it's interesting. So, that should be going right now. Okay. Sometime soon. <laughs> Maybe I was a bit silly and forgot to cut this bit, so... It's not far anyway, I think it's right up ahead. Yeah, it's right here, it's right around this corner. So, yep. 
here comes the dialogue as soon as I go down the stairs over here. And it's it's long and it's a big fight as well. A very, very big fight, which comes up soon. Just after this bit of dialogue. It smells like a clinic. Old men and culto. things sometimes. Faces, lights, the sounds of blasters. But you're real. Ah, oh, it's been a long time since I met a stranger. If any security comes online, you're the first to die. What's going on? You think I'm your foe? I'm as much a prisoner as her? There she is. She's tough. Your distraction was clever. But I've disconnected myself from the network. The alarms no longer scream to me. You and I are alone now. And I will atomize you. Sounds kind of evil. She makes a great companion though. She is very tough. Toughest one I've got so far. She seems to tank. She's like a tank companion. She sort of tanks everything. But there's so much damage as well. Shrek does almost as much damage as say my best attacks. Which is... Mad. She definitely does more DPS than me, but I am a healer, so I don't know what it's like as a Imperial Agent sniper. Then also damage a sniper does. But she makes hell of a companion. I've been using her a lot, like seriously a lot. She just, yeah, you know, like I said, she tanks everything, and she just doesn't take much damage, but does so much damage. I can just sit back and heal her while she owns massive bosses that I have to kill for quests. With Kalio, I found that, yeah, she kept aggro, but if I just sat back and healed her, she would do so little damage, the fight would last, like, half an hour. So I would often have to dam do damage myself. But with Scorpio, uh, she, she just does all the damage. It's, like I said, you know, she, she does, like, 800, 900 damage, big hits, and then, like, 500, about 400, 500 regular hits. And bosses, you know, big champion mobs that I have to kill for quests and stuff, have about 28k at my level. So, you know, she can take them down in a pretty short period of time, like 3 or 4 minutes, which is pretty awesome. Uh, she's a pretty tough fight as well. Like, if you can see there, she's doing quite a lot of damage to, uh, to Kalio. But she doesn't do really anything special, so I just sit back, heal, help out with damage works out fine. Like look, Kalio's doing eighty and like hundred and sixty damage there. Hundred and eighty three damage. That's just pathetic. And those are her crits. Oh she managed a four hundred there. Don't know what that was, but she had to cast it. Scorpio is just like regular big hits, just like eight hundred, nine hundred. It's absolutely amazing. But yeah, another feedback thing I'd like from you guys if it's cool would be just something about video quality. Just tell me what you think of the video quality. And don't forget to the feedback about what the audio volume is like. The quality should be good. The audio quality should be good. T tell me if it's not, because I really would have to work on that. It should be good. It should be really, 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 really clear audio. I haven't got a crappy mic. I've got a expensive mic. Um, yeah, sorry if I'm sounding a bit tired. I am extremely tired. It's ten past seven in the morning. I got tired at, like, eleven last night, but here I am, still going, and I'm not going to be going to bed after this, I'm going to be going back to play Star Wars, and then probably not today, because this video will take about 10 to 15 hours to upload, because my internet connection is dreadful, um, so tomorrow the Flashpoint video will be out, which is amazing, oh, played it earlier with some things I'm not going to spoil, but amazing dialogue here 
so. She would have killed you. Which means you aren't one of her masters. She's gone. Who do you serve? Why are you here? Operative Cypher 9. I serve the interests of the Empire. And I've come to find the people who built Mega Security Ward 23. I know the enemies you seek. Belsavis Prison is their vault. A place they hide their treasures for safekeeping. Microdroids. Genetic maths. Scorpio Artificial Intelligence. Advancements in technology they've denied the wider galaxy. We belong to them too. A menagerie of men and women they respected too much to kill. They captured you and put you in Colto tanks to keep you alive. Preservation is an art their droid mastered. I was placed here because of what I knew. I was born into the conspiracy eight centuries ago, when our order was young. Our purpose was noble. We assembled to save civilization after the Jedi and Sith nearly destroyed it. You have a story to tell, I'm listening. It was the aftermath of the great hyperspace war. The Republic had triumphed, your empire had fled, and the galaxy was in ruins. Our founders were men of influence who gathered to ask why? Why hadn't anyone stopped the conflict? Why did billions have to die? The Jedi. The Sith. They were responsible. And so we resolved to control their actions from the shadows. To keep Republic and Empire separate. We were their secret masters. A star cabal. How did your great and noble experiment turn out like this? I have seen our successors grow cold and hungry for power. Each generation comes to us for wisdom, then returns us to the dark. They tell us nothing. I do not know what the star cabal has become in my absence. Only that it is corrupt. I will help you. The machine? Yes. Use the Scorpio droid's databanks. I saw her creation, and I know her restraining codes. I can help you repair her, and she may lead you further. I should take her back in pieces. Its programs are intertwined. It must be repaired. Quickly. Our systems were linked to her own. Soon we must return to hibernation. Rest. Rest. I love how he just sort of throws her in. <laughs> just into that pit. <laughs> It is done. Goodbye for now. Systems online. Scorpio sanctions activated. <gasps> you think my restraining codes will preserve you? My primary program is learning and adaptive. I will eliminate these restrictions, you ignorant creature. You've lost your claws. Play nice and follow along. You're going to upload your databanks to Imperial Intelligence. I will accompany you. Mega Security War 23 has been exposed. And analyzing and overcoming my new situation should prove sufficient stimulation. So your hobby's gonna be figuring out how to kill us. There is artistry to it. Great. Meet you back on the ship, Agent. There we go. Well, that's the end of the Bell Savage storyline. I thought it was a pretty epic story for a planet. 
Um, well, like last story on that planet, pretty interesting, definitely. Can't wait to see where this conspiracy thing leads. I'll definitely get some footage of that. Um, yeah, don't forget the feedback about the audio quality and the lo- the volume of it, as well as the video quality. That would really help make my videos a bit better. And don't forget to check out the other videos. You know, if you're willing to help out uh, with me on YouTube, yeah, please click the subscribe button. It helps so much. Uh, don't forget to like, favorite the video if you did like and feel like the video needs a favorite. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video.